and welcome to a, another create with me. Um, today we're going to be creating some red, blue and white themes for July 4th for Independence Day. No, I'm not in America. I am in New Zealand, but our flag is also red, white and blue. So I thought it would be a fun connection between the two to kind of create something a little bit different. It's just going to be a single spread. It's not my monthly plan with me for this month. It's just one single spread that kind of brings together those colors just to create something a little bit different for my July. Let's get started. Here I'm starting with an old coloring in book. I'm going to cut out the shapes and I'm going to use this as part of my spread today. I thought having a couple of cute little cacti as part of the spread would look really creative. I'm sticking in some craft paper because I'd like to create some texture on the spread. I just wanted something a little bit different and I also wanted to be able to open it up to be able to journal on the page. Now I wanted to point out what happens when you make a mistake in your journal. Here I'm going very slowly and I'm putting in my July hand lettering with some watercolour. But you know what, at the end of it I felt like it looked too muddy and I just didn't like how it sat on the page at all. So later in the video, I'm going to show you how I changed it completely to have the final outcome. I didn't want to take this part out because I thought it would be important for you to see how you can fix mistakes in your journal just by thinking outside the box a little bit. So let's keep going. Here I'm going to start on my really simple journaling page for the 4th of July. I wanted one whole page just to track it for things that happened on this particular day. If there's anything important that comes up, I thought let me write down how I feel and what is going on. Um, there's a couple of journal prompts on the blog if you are looking for some fun journal prompts and I'll probably ask myself some of those as we go through this process but I wanted to keep it again really simple. I love how the colors come up on the craft paper. I just think it is so much fun to see them come up and they're just a little bit duller than the vibrancy of the white pages. let's come back to the mistake I made on this page here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match the splotches I have on the other page next to it and I'm going to stick over the other piece of um, the colouring in page on the same side so they kind of reflect each other. I'm going to keep adding a little bit of splotches and then I'm going to stick some stickers in just to make sure that I've got all the bits that I want to hide covered. By doing the stickers I create a little bit of extra texture and I also create a couple of extra kind of different things on the page as well in a couple of brighter colours.
we are done with our amazing spring and it's ready to go for journaling. As always, thank you so much for coming along. We look forward to seeing you over on our Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube and Facebook. Leave us a comment below with some of your really cool watercolor tricks.